Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the popular weather app, Weather Underground. Um, you may also call it Wonderground, but it is available for free on the popular app stores like Google Play and the iOS App Store. But I'm going to be going to the iOS App Store. 23,000 ratings and 4.2 stars. It's rated 16 in the weather chart of the popular weather apps on the iOS App Store. It's free, like I said. There's in-app purchases, but... It's about 81 megabytes to download, but let's actually open it up and check it out. So, I'm going to open it up. It's by IBM. Um, this is a pretty popular weather app. A lot of people use it. Um, my family has, but is it still the best one you should use? Well, let's find out. And it comes up with the first screen, location in your weather, and they want you to share and they want you to share pressure sensor data and your location and just say I understand you say whether you want notifications or not just say allow where would you like to view the weather and you can say current location or search for location so for privacy reasons I'm gonna do search for location can do New York and here's the front page or home page whatever you call it the main screen um, it has a dial shows the temperature um, whether it's sunny or not, uh, the high and the low, precipitation probability, the wind, and what it feels like. So that's a nice little box right there. It tells you a lot just in a small area. You can say more, and you can find humidity and dew point and all of that. So a lot of information. Um, you scroll down, it shows the map, wonder map. You can open up the radar, and here is New York, it shows temperatures in different areas like you would see on a television weather network and you can play it, storms moving. It's nice, it's slower, not super fast, but anyway that's what it does. Um, you can have different weather maps like overview, there's overview, radar, temperature, satellite, and there's layers. So it's you can do different things with the weather map. It's cool that you can have it be like um, kind of like a television weather where you see the temperatures in various areas plus you got the radar. But one thing that's annoying is that there's an ad at the top. I know they have to make money and this is a free app but it's still annoying. But anyway it has ads. It has an ad here. And it has a bigger ad here. But let's scroll down and you can see precipitation probability and various information for the next days so that's a nice it's a daily forecast for the next several days up to over a week but shows the probability of precipitation has this red line that I think shows temperature going up and down you can open it up and see um, the information bigger and you can get more information but you can also do hourly and a summary of what it is and you can just swipe for the different days so that's cool a lot of information that's nice the graph is cool too not every app has it maybe it's a special thing they have here's the hourly forecast here's the air quality index they have the sun and moon information um, they have a smart forecast that you can upgrade now to get these that feature. Build your own forecast to see when weather conditions are just right for your favorite activities and hobbies and you have to upgrade. Talks about privacy. Let's go and check out what you can do in settings. It looks like you can do quite a bit actually. Um, light or dark mode, maps, um, units, notifications, widgets, app icon, privacy and data. Um, you can share, talk to them, rate the app and then feedback you can see about the app um, data glossary and add stuff so legal things um, contact and some settings let's go to premium see what you can get with premium remove ads get access to 15 days of detailed forecast data and smart forecast by upgrading to a premium subscription and it's twenty dollars a year which is pretty pricey compared to what it used to be four dollars a month and so why um, I'm calling this the fall of Weather Underground is right here. You may have seen that in the title of the video. Weather Underground has been a great weather app 
for years and w website. I still like it in some regards, but um, I know someone who used to subscribe to the premium. It was like really cheap. It got rid of ads and it was only like a few dollars a year or less. Pretty, pretty nice. Now it's a few dollars a month. So it's just crazy how they're really trying to um, earn more money. I, I understand that it costs money to make an app and all, but just to go that drastic change from like a few dollars a year to all of a sudden, bang, $20 a year. It's like, good grief, guys. Um, also, some complaints I've heard from people are the the new look of the app. It's Some people don't like it, how it's set up. Plus, they don't like, the obviously, the subscription change, at least from one person I heard. And I don't blame him, honestly. The subscription thing is pretty crazy, but I get, you'll, you'll get used to the look change, probably. It's not too bad, honestly. But anyway, that's some of the more the cons about this app. You can see tropical storm warnings at the top, though, back to the, looking at this app. Um, there's a... You can change your location, obviously. In the top left corner, there's also uh, locations and changing them. But anyway, that's... That's it for this app. Um, cool features, a lot of information, cool graph, and I like this app in some ways, but there are a couple things that have annoyed users in recent times. The subscription, that was a really radical change from a few dollars a year to $20, and that went along with the major app update that changed the look, which I like changing of looks and things sometimes but gotta be careful I think it looks fairly good but obviously this app isn't mostly for design so if you want a more design where the app go to a, a different weather app so but anyway if you like the features of this app and what it does um, I say get it it's great in many ways there's obviously those cons that have disappointed users and like you just have to decide for yourself whether you want it or not like it has a lot of information and if you're not gonna pay for it, it doesn't really matter anyway about the subscription thing so the only thing that you get from the subscription is really no ads and you get more access to more days which 15 days is that even really accurate so I wouldn't subscribe if I were you this app I still download it's a great app but subscription probably not um, there's actually an ad blocker you can use to block ads and apps like this. I'll leave a link in the description and in the end screen you can watch it too. But that's a way to not have to pay and to block these ads. But anyway, get this app if you like what it does and what it has to offer. Like I said, it has great pros. It has those couple cons which are disappointing, but pretty great app. So. I hope this review was a help to you on whether you should get the app or not and whether it's good or not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like, comment what you like or don't like about this app, and please subscribe. It really encourages me and helps my channel grow, obviously. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Goodbye.